It's Terranigma time. Uh, get the game started here. Phoenix. Get myself adjusted here. I'm starting early tonight. Because I want to make sure I have some time to make some headway here. Plus, I'm feeling good, good right now, so. So, last time on Terra Enigma. What did I do last time? We, I know we got the airplane. We're in a uh, Mosk. We're in Mosk right now, which is supposed to be Moscow, I think. <laughs> uh, what did we do? Oh, the Dragon Castle stuff last time. That, that's what we did. All right. So there's been rumors and whisperings of this Doctor Baruga fellow for probably the past couple of streams we've had. So now it's about time we actually go to meet the Doctor. And find out what his deal is. What is he doing? What is he up to? Why are there paintings of him everywhere in this town? So anyway, we are getting closer to the end of the game. I uh, was looking ahead on the guide. So today we're going to be doing Baruga's lab. That is the dungeon for this part. And then there, then we have a bunch of side questing stuff to do. So part of the reason I'm starting early is because I want to make sure I got enough time to do the side questing stuff and get it all taken care of as much as possible. Because I kind of want to see if I can end the game in the next stream. So that would be on Wednesday. So, so that is my plan right now. So let's uh, take a look around uh, Mosk. And see what we can find out here. You may stay here if you wish. It is 50 gems. I think I'm good. I totally meant to do that. Red armor will fill you with strength. Hoo hoo hoo. Oh, this, this red armor sounds fun. Oh, but I can't buy it. Oh, I did do a little bit of grinding um, between streams. I don't think you probably notice I'm. Oh, no, stop doing that. I'm uh, level 32 now. So I actually should be good for a while now, I think, in the game. I don't think I can't buy the armor because I think I have like too many armors. Probably what it is. I need to get rid of something. Um, yeah, the rags can go away. I don't, I don't need rags. Red armor. One. Give me one increase. There goes all my money. Alright, let's see what uh what's up with this place. All these um people with uh, pointy white hats on. <laughs> people will be freed of all pain. Even death will be powerless. For more about Baruga. Go to the disciples' quarters. You will come to understand Baruga's greatness. Hmm. The great Baruga will rise once again. 
He will create an eternal paradise in this world. We are definitely found the Holt Town. Oh, these people don't have pointy hats. Those in white are white disciples who directly serve Baruga. It is a great honor to be chosen a, chosen a white disciple serving Baruga. I'm going to be a white disciple when I grow up to help Dr. Baruga. This uh, kid has goals in life. Do you seek Baruga's word? Um... Sure. Then enter the back room. A disciple will educate you. Uh, find out what this is about. The world is rife with corruption. Save us, Baruga. When Baruga awakens, the world will also arise. The sinners will always be tortured by guilt. Now let us pray to affirm our faith in Baruga. The portrait on the wall depicts Baruga. Yes, I, I figured that out. Baruga awaits at the castle in the lake in the south. Have a seat and listen to Baruga's teachings. Please line up and hear the great words of Baruga, okay. Baruga once won a Nobel Peace Prize for new biotechnology theories. They, they have Nobel Peace Prizes in this world? He perfected DNA engineering fully cure recurring diseases. Since then, he has dedicated himself to a study of immortality. All humans shun silence and fear the dark. Why? Because they all fear death. A playwright once claimed this. People are born crying to die, and for a new life to be born, come with unimaginable pain. When all are immortal, change will cease, and peace will come. Baruga will create that utopian world. Baruga is now locked in deep sleep, in an ultra-cold machine. He shall soon awaken in this world. Let us pray for that day. Okay. So Dr. Baruga is cryogenically frozen right now. And he proposes a way to make everybody immortal. So nobody has to be born again, because being born is painful, and something about disease and whatnot. Did I get all that? He is our savior, Baruga. Baruga is preparing to save this corrupted world. Baruga is waiting quietly in the castle he built himself. When the time comes, he shall rise again to save the believers. I do not fear death. I have total faith in Baruga's words. Baruga declared that an age when we no longer fear death shall come.
Maggie Rock. Dude, Baruga has definitely got a uh, cult of uh, personality following him around. Or in this place, at least. Yeah, he's promising them immortality. I mean, who could who could pass that up? Except we know there's more going on here. Let's go, uh, see this Dr. Beluga. That's, uh, <clears throat> that's not the way out, Ark. Over here. Yeah. <laughs> so his castle is down here. I'm trying to figure out, is this, um... Is this the Caspian Sea? Is that what it's supposed to be here? Is this is Eastern Europe here? That should be Italy over there, so this should be sort of the Baltic area. Greece over here, I think. I'm assuming this is the Caspian Sea. But anyway, let's go see uh, Dr. Brugge here. <clears throat> Very dark in here. Switch. Oh, that's some more robots. They're not doing anything. But gone now. Oh, that's a robot. Ah. Switch. Okay. Don't know what that switch did. I'm guessing I have to go all the way back. It'd be nice if I could uh, shortcut through there. Oh, got the uh, conveyor belts working now. I don't know what they're making though, it looks like a... They're making chains! That was a switch over there. I guess I need to go back. And go down that way. Yeah, okay, I gotta go this way. Elevator.
Boing, boing, boing. Down we go. It's almost like a fighting game. I assume there's got to be a way to get those blocks out of the way. But it seems like I can't do anything there. Can we go down some more? No, I cannot. Hmm. I didn't think I would get stumped this quick. Oh, apparently I missed something back up there, too. Okay, let's go back. So apparently there are events I can crawl through, but I'm just not seeing. There's supposed to be one... ...over there. I'm just blind. Yeah, that totally did not look like a vent to me. <laughs> Overloaded. Yeah, this is also supposed to be some armor too. Soul armor. Wow, if it was like only that quick that I would have found some new armor, I would have just like not bought that red stuff. Yeah, the, the red armor is pointless. That was a waste of money. That was a big waste of money. Oh well. We're just close to the end of the game, so I guess it doesn't really matter. So apparently there's also a vent down in that other area that I can go through. Uh, but I blinded, I didn't see.
Okay, I see it. That's right here. Yeah, see, that totally does not look like a vent that I can crawl into. It just looks like part of the wall. <laughs> oh, here I see it. What are they shooting like tin cans at me? Oh, they can shoot through walls. Excellent. What is this thing? Oh. Uh, teleporter? Is my health always at 246? 39? Oh. oh well, it doesn't really matter. See where these uh, teleport things go to. Goes nowhere. Ah, uh, button. It is a button. Did it do? Okay, that's bad teleporter. It's the event. Unless that's something for the elevator, that's probably what it is. Yeah, that that's probably what it is. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, cubes. You've dropped lots of money. Looks like a bridge, but I can't go on it. Oh, the mirror belt. absorbed. Like, like I didn't realize my HP was so low. <laughs> I guess I should have slept at the um, inn and mosque. Didn't think about that. to the database. Please enter the password. What is this? Log in? Password? What's that about? This machine controls all systems in Daruga's lab. It's protected by a password, a shield for data. So I can't do anything? If I don't know the password? Hey. Let's key in what I tell you. Bloody Mary. How did you know that? Bloody Mary, like that? Root password accepted. Elevators and cold sleep device password lock disengaged. Whoa, it opened on the first shot. But why does Yomi know something like that? Connecting to database. Access with history. Uh, past history. The dawn of humankind. The date by Dr. Baruga announced his new biological theory. DNA engineering brought about cures for recurrent diseases. It also helped extend life and promote artificial intelligence. Old sleep. The world's first super cold hibernation device made by Dr. Baruga. It slowed the progress of rapid diseases and saved many lives. The Earth's last day. The day an airborne infectious virus of 90% mortality struck, named Asmodeus, a virus decimated the human population. 
Some were saved by Dr. Beluga's vaccine, but lack of food spelled doom. Uh, lab? Lab object the objective. Undertook research and development of groundbreaking biotechnology. Because of the highly hazardous work, robots are used exclusively. Are exclusively used. A vaccine? A vaccine for Asmodeus was created here to stop the plague. Its effectiveness was measured to be over 80% recovery, but insufficient production meant it was only available. It was available only to a few. So these first floor is a robot assembly plant. B1F and B2F are the bio lab. B3F and beyond are under construction. Okay. So there's another floor down we can get to, I assume. some more. Uh, Ark, what are you doing? You're like walking automatically. What is going on here? Whoa. Intruder alert. Attack mode on. Uh, robot. Okay, okay, I see. I got two of his legs already, but I gotta get the other leg. Oh man, there's like slowdown going on here. Right, I think I got all three legs now. Whoa, what, what is all this stuff?
Last gasp attack was an unsightly. What? Uh, okay, I guess that was it. Wasn't too bad. Oh, what do we got here? Right here. These, uh, those like, uh, zombies. Dipney zombies. Oh, is that him? I have no idea who you are, but I thank you for arousing me. I am Baruga. As you can see, I am a practitioner of science. When the world died, I took to a long sleep. Yes, to the resurrection of humans. I wish to show you something. Follow me. I didn't mean to do that. Wanna show me your zombie collection? I created this life. Isn't it beautiful? No. No, it isn't. It's zombies. With this system, people can live forever by turning them into zombies. Death is no longer fearful. Talk to the zombie in that nutrient bath. This zombie is looking at me. Hey. This zombie looks incredibly sad. Is it really a happy thing to revive the dead? If people didn't die, the world would be filled up with filled up immediately. I have naturally taken that into account. The unnecessary shall die, and only the necessary lives. That's all. What? Wait, what the? <laughs> Whoa, you seem to be a bit hot-headed. But you better not get too close to me. Are you aware of the three laws of robots? In essence, robots must not harm people. Robots must protect people. If those conditions are met, a robot must protect itself. But the robots here have one more rule governing their behavior. Anyone deemed to be a threat to my person must be terminated now. My liege shall soon re-emerge from the underworld. My liege himself is this world, is the world. Let us witness the world on the verge of great progress. So we're back in, uh... Oh, this is, uh, Tokyo. Near, near Tokyo again. And... This... Gas?
So I guess he just, um, exterminated everybody in, uh, Tokyo. Ark. You have done well to groom the world so far. Aruga will make this world fantastic. Your duty is finished. You shall rest eternally. But will he? So, I'm going to die. I wonder what I fought for all this time. It was what I did shaping a world like Baruga wanted. Somebody tell me. I don't want to die without knowing. That's right, Ark. You must not die at a place like this. You exist outside the loop of fate, but you can change fate. This world needs you. I will transport your body to me now. Now don't slip away. So who, who is this? Oh, you come too. Wait, don't try to move. I arrived just as Lord Kumari came with you. Came with you terribly injured. What? <laughs> I gotta read that sentence again. I arrived just as Lord Kumari came with you terribly injured. You may be aware of this, but the Star of Darkness has re-emerged. It erased a city from the world with no effort. A star of darkness, you say? Tell me more. Ark, if you had the will, ask Lord Kumari the way. Before the star of darkness consumes us all. Ark, I'm glad you're safe. You met him, didn't you? A man they call Baruga. He introduced the Star of Darkness and bred disharmony. The balance of life was shattered, leaving man unaffected by death. But in Leza, there is an old saying. Star, star stones laid at the grave at time's end calls the golden child. Mayhal journeyed far, seeking the truth behind the saying. But Mayhal only managed to obtain fleeting glimpses of, of the truth. <coughs> Human fate is a fixed loop. What one seeks is not always found. You are different. You exist outside the loop of fate. Seek out the star stones and place them at the grave at time's end. There is no other way of realigning the disrupted loop of fate. So we have our new objective here. Star stones laid at the grave at time's end calls the golden child. It's an old saying of Laza. The golden child is said to write the factors that shape fate. Lord Kamari stated this. You belong to nothing, and therefore, you are important. Human fate is a fixed loop, but one seeks is not always found. You are different, you exist outside the loop of fate. Take out the star stones and place them at the grave at time's end. Okay. Can 
we need to find our... We need to find star stones now. Or... McGuffins, I guess. Go ahead and uh, restock here. Star Stones at. But this is a part of the game where we start getting into all this uh, side questing stuff. Because you can do a lot of that apparently as we're looking for the Star Stones. Let me just see what we should probably try to do here. I'm just kind of looking at the guide here. Yeah, we already talked to Bell before. I already did that part. Well, let's just, uh... travel here. I think we need to go back to, uh, Freedom here. We're gonna have to like go all over the place here. Can you find a boat? Stop. Actually, you know what? I should save before I go any further here. Find like a dock somewhere. I gotta walk all the way back through uh, Asia, I guess. <laughs> Anything up here? No. to go through this again. I don't quite rem remember the way. <laughs> um, get through it? I did not. <laughs> oh god, game, you gotta make me go through this again? Really? There's the three rocks. Um, I'm supposed to go south from the three rocks. Oh, it's snake, snake rocks. Yeah. Okay. And we go this way. I know it's supposed to go diagonally at some point. Ah, oh, come on. I want to get out of here. Aim. 
I think one of these guys tells me to wait, right? Three boulders west, south snake, northwest. Turn north when you get to the dragon skulls. Okay. Northwest. The skulls. I didn't see. Ah, uh, I didn't see any skulls. What the heck? Uh, I just want to get through this. I don't want to deal with this shit right now. <laughs> I didn't say when to turn north though. That was the thing. Oh, what was that? Oh, that's a skull. There we go, skulls. Um, let's just go north on the skulls. Am I supposed to go west? Oh, here's a big skull. There we go. Alright, there's a port. So we do need to talk to the other guy that does the photography stuff. Don't remember where he is. Not dumb. Uh, that's Bell. I already talked to him. Wahahaha! <laughs> Listen! A machine lets you talk with someone far away. It is now. Fun. Finished. You think I lied? Talk to the machine, just like this in the back room. Okay. My name is. My name is. It's me, Bell. Can you hear me? You can hear my voice clearly, right? See? If everyone has these at home, no one will ever go lonely. I wish finally came true. Cool. Oh, hi. Thanks for your help, I'm getting to understand it and electricity. I'm thinking of running the final experiment. Can you help me again? Sure. Sure, what do you want me to do next? At the same time as me. Press the switch at the left of the machine. I'll give you a signal to cue, cue you. The left of the machine, okay. Over here. Ready? One, two, and uh, three. Yeah, we did it. Look at that. That's light of electricity. Well, technically, Bell already had electricity to do his uh, telephone thing. I'm just saying. It's weak and small now, but it will grow. People will return to home and slip by this light at night. And they already had electricity in uh, Neo Tokyo and uh, Yonkou already, too, by the way. <laughs> like fire enabled human civilization to advance. I think the light of electricity 
will show the way to more progress. I sincerely hope this light will show the correct way for progress. Cool. I am grateful for your help. I've still got a lot to do. I have to study how I can get this light of electricity to people. Electricity. Okay, so that's, uh, I think that's all we can do here. Check there's supposed to be a Maggie rock here, but I might have already gotten this already. Knowing me, I might have already gotten this already. Um, they were talking about armor made by mermaids, and mermaids must be made me by man. Um, okay, I must have already gotten this. Alright, our next location is near Lake. Oh look, the town's bigger now. Oh look, it changed now. Just like that, overnight. You like freedom? I love it. I was born and raised here. Welcome to the city named after freedom. Pardon? person here before. I hear she was fired for some trouble. I have no idea where she is. She was frightful and had no friends. One night accommodation is just 10 gems. Um, you know what, let's go ahead and sleep and restore my health. Holy. Oh, there's uh, Mr. Kynes. Is my economic development to your standards, Kynes? <laughs> it better be. I'm Kynes. I am an economist, and I forecast the growth of towns. The town has progressed sufficiently. It will keep growing. Where it will go from now is beyond my knowing. So, I guess it's satisfactory then. One day I know I'm going to succeed. I'm convinced. Her hot dancing on my cool guitar will make it worldwide. Okay. Whatever that is. First prize in a draw is a weapon available only here. I'm trying to get it, but I haven't succeeded. Oh. Hey, you there. Try your look at our lottery. It's 20 gems each ticket. Okay. Okay. Choose any ticket you like. Number 17. The prize is. Hey, you had too much stuff with you. I'll give you a refund, okay? <laughs> Imagine winning the lottery, and then the guy just says, Wait a minute, you had too much stuff on you, I'm sorry, I, here's your money back. <laughs> I can't give it to you. Bad. Uh, maybe it was a weapon, they said? Probably got too many weapons. Here was something. What do we got right now? Well, I'm using the block rod right now. I get rid of, just get rid of something. Oh, 
Rock Spear, I can't get rid of. Okay. Um. Bronze Spike, let's get rid of that. Prizes. You have too much stuff with you. I don't know exactly what it's supposed to get me. I'm assuming maybe it's trying to get me bulbs, I guess. But I want to know what the weapon is. Nothing you missed, okay. stuff. Okay, I don't know. Where's it? <laughs> uh, I guess I'm just going Give up on that. I don't, I don't know what. I don't know what. I don't know what I'm supposed to be winning there. All right, original drink made up of flavored plant sap. Uh, uh, you mean syrup? Okay, I'll take it. I stay. This town is so built up. There aren't many places to jog anymore. Let's take it easy, bro. Things happen when they happen. It brings tears to my eyes. Drinking while looking at Mother's face. Okay. The owner said he was going to retire. I took over from him. Now I can keep watch over my layabout. We can't lose it up. Bourbon's not too bad. Now I prefer a smoother, refreshing drink. Well, that's part of a quest line. Let's check what kind of stuff I have on me. So I got the flowers, so I got the crystal. The anchor, which I have no idea what I'm supposed to do with. I hear Leoto on the continent has a carnival going every day. I like that. I love fighting carnivals. Hey, did you know? Weapons and armor that raise luck lose the chance of critical hits. You also make your magic stronger. Good deal. But no, because. I don't know if the status screen never really reflects that, though. you have anything new? Uh, nothing? Okay. Uh, mag magic shop, I don't... Don't really need that. We have a light pipe. It's actually just a little bit better than what I have. But I need some money. Okay. She also sells soul armor. Black market. What is this? Bird this big. I'm in a bind. Nobody wants to buy this bird. Hi, buddy. Wanna buy a bird? It'll make a hefty roast chicken. Oh, it's just 5,000 gems. I, 
I don't have that money. I'll pass. Yeah, I guess I have to turn it into a roast chicken myself. That's a big chicken. And I don't think that's a, uh... Pretty sure that's not, not, not a chicken in there. But I know that's a side quest. I need to get some, uh, money. How much money do I have right now? I think it was like 4,000 something, isn't it? Oh no, it was two, oh, 2,300, yeah. I may need to go back to uh, Baruga's lab and do a little bit of grinding. See what else we can find in, in town here. The wife does nothing but watch TV while neglecting her chores. Oh, so she stopped watching cat videos. There's nothing on TV other than news about Neo Tokyo's disappearances. Everyone in town suddenly disappeared, right? Weird. Yeah, I need to go back there and uh, check out what happened there a bit. What I like now is something by Mika, by Mika of Near Lake. A juicy grilled meat patty nestled into a fresh baked bun. Delicious. Look up. Hamburgers. Hamburgers are pretty good. Hello. I help out here so I can polish my fashion sense. My life is very complicated. Yes, it is. Look, look, these are your clothes you gave us. They're really easy to wear and so fashionable. That's so right. So they all say the same thing. Okay. There are many success stories here. I came for success too. It would be nice if I could one day have my own big restaurant. I've run my pub for a long time, but I've had enough. I'm sick of serving ignorant and decadent young people. Okay. There's been a steady influx of talented people seeking success. But the keys to success are talent and effort. What's his bells now? I'm getting orders for phones everywhere. I feel fulfilled. Maybe people can't go on anymore without hearing other people. We're mass producing telephones, but we can't keep up. Telephones and electricity, they make information easy to obtain. The world has become so convenient, but it's a bit frightening. Hey, you know, first you start, start with electricity, then you get telephones, and before you know it, you have the internet. Hello, I heard about you from Bell. Pardon me? Didn't he say anything? I'm Bell's girlfriend. We were far apart, but Bell's phone kept us close. Thanks to it, we're... <laughs> it's gonna sleep in your bed. <laughs> okay. Now. He studies not only electricity, but other subjects too. We help him with the studies. Mr. Eddie's on the second floor. He must be tired because of all of his experiments. Ah, 
I worry about how much light from electricity has changed our lives. It may have stolen the warmth like a candle's flame from human souls. I may be just worrying ne needlessly. I hope so. Eh, it'll be fine. That's what we have uh, have electric heaters for. Will bought us a lot of books. I'm going to read this and make an airplane like Will. TV. It's fun. After Will made the plane, people in town are nice to us. Grown ups are strange. Aren't you with Pero? Pero said that it was exciting being with you, so he was going to follow you. Oh, he better not. I love TV. It's the greatest. TV is the greatest. Ha ha ha. Look, look, look. I'm a good jumper. When I get big, I'm going to do shows like Perel. I came here as a teacher, but... Everyone is so energetic. It is tough. That's a sign of good health. Always look on the bright side. The kids are too rambunctious to teach. At least they're energetic and have their health. Oh, okay. I have freedom. And, uh... Oh. Where's, uh... Wh where's Nerd like that? Uh, what the heck happened here? The shack caught fire. The wind whipped up with the fire up. The village went up in flames just like that. What? <laughs> okay. My... My corn. Oh. Oh, my corn. What's gone is gone. The important thing is what you do next. I was born and raised here. I don't want to leave. Arr! What is this? Unbelievable. Everything gone. I can't even cook. Because of the fire, some people have left to other towns. Nella is going to, di going to disappear from the world if something isn't done. You're a traveler, right? You go to different towns. Can I ask you a favor? Sure. Sure, I'm... I'm considerate. That's great. As you can see, the village is a mess. Yeah, it's, it's pretty much gone. But we can't leave it this way. But this village isn't wealthy at all. So here's the request. I've written nine letters. Please give these to people you meet. Those letters are pleas for money to help rebuild the village. Kind-hearted people should help upon reading the letter. Thank you. We got nine letters. Yay! Side quest. Oh, well. This place is fine, though. There is no hope for growth without a major change in policies. The young growth ends is 10%. It's still 10% even though the town has been destroyed. I'd say that's a pretty much a positive outlook there. Did you see Nearlike? 
My house luckily survived unharmed. But I feel bad that just my house remained. Well, man's airplane flies real great. Ooh. Alright. So we got some letters we gotta deliver here. Uh, they go to people across the world. Uh, let's see here. Two of them are in freedom, so let's go back. Uh, Bill, Bill, and Eddie here. Probably have to equip them, don't I? Yep. What's that? What's that letter? A near light. I heard about this. I'm worried about Amanda. Let me contribute. My ex girlfriend lives there. It touches me too. I wonder if Amanda is safe. It's been bothering me for some reason. What's that letter? From Near Lake? Yes, I heard some rumors. If I can be of any help, I'll contribute. Near Lake and Freedom are not far apart. They're like neighbors. If I can be of any help, I'll contribute. Cool. Okay, so what else we got here? Oh, we're supposed to get one to Will too. Hold on. Hey, get out of there. The Will back in there like needs one too. So let's go back. So pretty much all the inventor in these in, 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 in NPCs I think need need letters. I think that's what it is. Ark, what is that letter? A letter from the people in Near Lake. Of course I'll help. I'll go help rebuild the town whenever I can. A person alone isn't much. The people together are strong. I know, I'll tell all my friends. Everyone at Kids Guard too. You have a lot in Near Lake. But we have to do our best in times like this. No good just thinking and fretting about something. We will build near like into a metropolis. To become the most powerful city in the world. Alright, so we need to go talk to you. Mr. R Mr. Rich Guy, Britain, and uh, go to Lori and Blitz. See how this dude is doing with his uh, painting collection. Place looks about the same as it did before. Oh, what is that letter you hold? Let me see that. Hmm. Goodness. A town this unfortunate. I must help. I will send the courier with money for rebuilding. I have money enough. I am not just a self centered rich. I am super rich for justice. Super rich. How did this guy get so rich? I do wonder about that. He is like the only person living in the entirety of of Britain. 
Where does money come from? Nobody knows. We have Sardine Guy. Yeah, I do remember something about a guy with sardines in here somewhere. I don't, don't remember where he is. I always think sardines are plentiful, but they rot quickly. I wonder if there's a way of preserving them for a long time. Oh, so is this sardine guy? He doesn't seem to accept the letter, though. I like making pots and others like these. I have to make a decoration for the church. What should I do? It might be interesting if I make something with a rare mineral. Oh, maybe he needs a crystal. This is this is just a guess here. Hello. Yeah, something nice there. That sparkling stone. May I have it? Sure. Sure, take it. I'm generous. Thank you. It gives me the feeling I'll make something good. One crystal away. I got this idea from the crystal you gave me. Okay. something else I need to do here, but I don't know what it is yet. Because it sounds like Sardine Guy needs something first. He needs, he, he needs a cannery. I don't know how to get a cannery to him. So in Lori, we got uh, several people, actually. Pierre. I'm Pierre, 18, and I love tinkering machines. Want to see my invention? Sure. You gonna blow, blow me up again? Oh, it worked this time. Hey, nothing happened. That means... I did it! It worked! A machine that puts pictures on paper. Thanks for your help and sacrifice for making this machine. I'm going to call this machine Camera. I'll give you one for all your time and trouble. Thank you. I got. Oh, I got a camera. I I don't know what to do with that, but okay. <laughs> What's that letter you're holding? So carefully. From a lady friend. Wow. Some places have it bad. Phew. Listen, I'll send some money too. Just a little bit. But, every little bit adds up big, right? Cool. What is that letter you have? A town destroyed by fire. I see. But there's a town in trouble. I've got money now. I'll send some money for rebuilding that town. I didn't care about others before. Maybe I'm more fulfilled. Okay. That was... Amity, so... I have to talk to the winemaker dude. Dude.
Oh wait, what is this place? Forest. The Tourist Bureau provides information on travel in other cities. People here can learn of other lands for us. We don't have enough information on, on other lands. If you have photos of our land, I'd love to see them. Oh, this is what I need the camera for. I heard a wonderful travel journal written by a man named Haydn. Maybe I ought to go traveling too. We left Madame's shop so we can help merrily. How oh, cool the uh the hag is gone. <laughs> we left Madame's shop so we can help merrily. But where where is she? Bad letter. You don't mean to No. I'm not ready. Pardon me? A letter from people who survived the terrible fire. Oh. Oh I see. It was something like that. I'll contribute. I have some money now. I can afford to do that because my shop is doing well. Thank you. My workers have all left me. What has entered their minds? I don't know. I guess you gotta do your own, do your own work now. Come at the perfect time. I'm just uncorking my latest creation. Wanna try a swig? Sure. Not good. What? You don't find it delicious? That's odd. Okay, so I guess I still gotta do something for the wine dude, too. Ah, uh, da 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 I don't think I have anything I can give him, though. You know, let me put the camera. Taking a look here. I need to get the sardine dude a ten sheet. I don't know where the tin sheet is. Or who has that. Hmm. Oh, we gotta keep talking to the wine dude. Hold on. So apparently, if we keep talking to the wine dude back and forth. Eventually, we'll have a wine that actually tastes good. Okay. I figured. I figured I had to do something for him. Oh, good. What? It was good. Great. So it's good? Ha 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 ha. This is made of grapes. I can sell this now. Here, take a bottle. Oh, I've got the wine. He can get drunk as many times as he wants now. You don't mind. 
build that wine in other regions. I'm real proud of it. Uh, let's see, do I still have the letter equipped? Oh, I have the camera equipped. Okay, I guess I gotta do that first, start. Right. I gotta figure out where the tin sheet is, because I, I need that. One of the things I'm gonna have to look up here, because I didn't see it in the guide. Oh, okay, so the tin sheet apparently is back in, um, back in Will's house, apparently. I must have never saw it there. I'm gonna just go back there real quick and get that. Yep, the rest of the stream is just gonna be side questing. I wanna try and get all the side questing stuff done. I don't have to worry about it in the next stream. Gonna be a lot of going back and forth here. Also, just gonna be fetch questing. See, I never saw that because I thought that was just part of the junk on the floor. Yeah, if I had not looked that up, I would probably would have never have found that. Because my inkling was was that it might be something in uh, Gun Cow, but I would have been like way off. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, would, I would never have thought that to go back to uh, Will's house and look. Alright, now we can give the uh, metal sheet to the sardine dude.
Alright, I got a picture of Wits. Sure, I took a picture of Freedom while I was over there. I forgot to do that. I'll get back over there eventually. What's that you have there? What is it? Metal. That's it. I just found something to preserve sardines. Can you give me that? Here, take it. I just found it anyway. Uh huh. Really now? That's great help. I might be able to make big money with this. I took what you gave me, polished it, and packed sardines in it. I tried making some. I'll give you one as thanks for your idea. Ten sardines. Yay. But if no one will buy these tin sardines, it won't get to be a business. Okay, so I gotta find somebody to buy his sardines. I assume I gotta do that before I give him the letter. So... Who do I give the sardines to? Okay, sardines go back to freedom. I gotta go back there anyway. to go to the dude. Somebody called Stoma. I don't know, remember where he is. I don't think this is it. I study animals. There is a curious breed of penguins in Greenland. You went to build home. I saw the one who's carefully guarding would be a shining stone. Oh yeah, I need to get back to uh, find my way over to uh, Greenland at some point. I came alone from Neo Tokyo, where I had to leave my family. I heard that Neo Tokyo was turned into a ghost town. I survived only because I had been ordered to come here. Sob. shop.
Did you just, did you decide to travel after reading Hayden's book? Yeah, I guess I did. Um, what's that do? something that looks delicious. I'm a gourmet. Let me sample some. I'll try is tin sardines and lits. Tin? I don't know what cooking... I don't know that cooking method. <laughs> it's not exactly a cooking method. Oh, let me try them. Hmm. The appearance is extremely appealing. Pass. A sniff. Aroma is also not unpleasant. Pass. Oh, chew. Hmm? It tastes great. Pass. I, Stoma, give it my vote of confidence. This will become popular. I must reward you for your most delicious gift. Please take this. The money. What I like now is something by Mick of Near Lake. I oh, was still talking about the hamburger. Okay, so we got that done. Oh, so we get the wine to somebody here too. Okay. Got that. Okay, where... Okay, go back to the pub. What is that bottle you have there? May I try a sip? Sure, try some. It's wine made of grapes from a town called Lore. Oh, exotic. Please pour some. This is delicious. It's soothe. It's smooth and refreshing. I think even women can drink this. I'll have to tell my friends. That wine was delicious. Delicious. Delis delicious. It was delish. Okay. So I think that's everything we have here. So we should be set to get the get the letter to the sardine dude and the winemaker now. Oh, come on, Mark, get on there. You don't believe this. Ever since I gave you some some tin sardines, I've been getting orders upon orders for them. I can't keep up alone. I'm getting my neighbors to help now. Oh. So you uh, wouldn't mind uh, helping me out with a little thing here now, would you? What's that letter? From the people who burnt down town. Let's see that. Nibble. That's terrible. I get touched by stories like that. A man has to be strong in times like this. I'll help too. I'm getting many orders for tin sardines. If I can send some money. 
They were going to nearly tell them not to give up hope. Well, thank you very much, man. Thank you very much. Uh, I don't think the crystal dude did anything yet, did he? He's just a. Uh, yeah, he's just doing that. Oh, this place looks like it's built up a bit more now, isn't it? Oh yeah, it is. Okay, let me find the winemaker dude first. Then we'll, um... Explore. Why are you carrying that letter? You deliver mail now? What? A town destroyed by a fire? That's terrible. Alright, I'll contribute some to your restoration fund too. Okay, so we're done now. We're done with the letters. I still need to go around and take pictures of the towns. Give some to my lady friend. Hehe. <laughs> I got tired of hard liquor. Now I drink more booze. I'm astounded at how well wine sells. That people can't get by without drinking? Some people can't. <laughs> I came to study here because I heard they make a, made a fantastic drink. We get so much orders, it's hard just keeping up. So much business, so much money, so much capitalism. I hear a super rich guy lives on a small island in the north. Those are a generous man with an interest in the arts. Those here are expensive. The design took a bit old fashioned. Eh? Whatever anyone says, I won't fold my shop. No matter what. Princess Ellie's been missing since then. Maybe the king was killed by Princess Ellie. shop. Does she sell anything good? A nice suit. A cloth suit. A fur coat. Okay, well nothing I need. You see something you like, please go up to the counter. After I give his clothes, it's already getting many orders. I'm gonna run my own boutique now. Mother, till the end she was at Princess Ellie. Oh, it's the same lady, but just somewhere, I guess. Her grandma gone. The house she was bigger and emptier, lonely. Ah, uh, so the old the old lady died already. Okay. I'm Mifta. I own this apartment building. Before running this building, I had a terrible, terrible job. Because of it, I could never go without a hat. Sniffle. My hat! I must have my hat at all times. Don't talk about hair in front of Papa. Oh. 
He's very self-conscious about his hair. That's why he must have a hat. There's nobody in here. It says here, Rococo Room 101 Vacant, inquire about Lori Real Villati. I took the plunge and brought a Matisse painting. I mean, he is Lori's prized artist. an apartment, you should really go to Lori Re Realty. 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 I always have trouble with that word. Realty. 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 Looking out over the town from this balcony feels just wonderful. Here I made something called a camera. Why is it called a camera? And Lori. Oh, we've got photos of the town too. Okay. Now they opened their own boutique. I'm going to be a frequent customer now. Earn. Quality number one. Price number two. We have the furniture for you. But we can't sell furniture if you don't have a home. Be a homeowner. Is this another... I smell another side quest here. To become a home homeowner. Filter. Hello, are you looking for a home? Let's just say that I am. A home? Sounds nice. Much as one cost. Let's see. We have an apartment open at 800 gems. What do you think? That's actually not too bad, actually. Let's take it. Okay, let's do it. I'm buying. The deal's done. Here's your apartment key. Ark has become a homeowner. Your room is Rococo Apartment 101. Here's the key to the door. Oh. Uh. Oh, right, the key. Use the key, idiot. Oh. It's very empty. Need, uh, some furniture. Tell me what you want in front of the desired piece. Oh. Oh, I do need a bed. Bed? It's a warm plush bed. I'll throw in a fluffy down comforter. It's 100 gems. Do. Yes. <laughs> sure, we need a bed. And, um... Did I get a computer? Oh, yeah, how much are drawers? A dresser? I don't have any clothes, but I'll buy it. Cool. Look, show. I'll give you this teddy bear. Sure. I don't read, but okay, I'll buy it. <laughs> Sweet. Can I buy some more stuff? 
Can I buy a desk? No. The rope will make your room look more gorgeous. Sure, we'll take it. We'll just buy everything. Can I buy a computer? No. What about a table? I don't need a desk, I've only got a lot of goodies. Eating on the floor is sad. Okay. So I can't buy a computer? Um. Okay, I guess that's it. I can still get like a computer in here, can't I? I don't know. Spending all my money. Oh man, I have a thousand dealer. I'll make, I'll make my way back over to Baruga's lab, lab at some point. Whoop. What happened here? Oh? Oh. Freeze up. <laughs> Don't talk to that lady again. Bad. Beans, okay. They confer with the populace to weave their wishes into policies. Oh right, yeah, this dude's the politician dude. That's right. Dean asked me to help him, but it's busy, but fun every day. Dean decided to open up his house so people can tell them their wishes. And complaints too, I assume. People's happiness cannot be measured by material possessions. I like to help people attain better, fuller lifestyles. Always appear cheerful lately. The best thing happened, I guess. I hear. Okay, we are talking. And these are the. Shops, we already looked at these. Okay. I, I already have enough flowers. It's not as if I can't eat it or anything. Hmm. Hmm. Do you sell anything new here? Bright mail. No, not really. As Jean became mayor, Lori has progressed far. Well, yes, it has. Yes. I love the delicate sensitivity of cameras. The shape. These parts, I'm a will come. Hammer, what an odd word. Here's cameras are famous not only in Lore, but around the world. Oh hey, that camera. I decided to make more and put them on sale. Turns out many people want it. I'm overwhelmed. We cameras. Oh, my 
Matisse out of the gallery now. I wish to speak to Matisse. He is in the studio now. Before fame, I thought it was great just to just to paint. Now look. I look like a machine for money chased by time. This is no good. Even if it sells, it's no good if that's not what you want to paint. Ah, see, so you're... You're entrapped by your own fame now. Be careful what you wish for. But hey, you have money now. Talk to me, okay. It's three gems for a song. Wanna hear something? Sure. Let's hear a song. Okay, the piece is Lori Non Lori Monamora. I'm kind. I am an economist and I progress with the towns. This town has progressed sufficiently. It will keep growing. Go, go. From now is beyond my knowing. It is sufficient. Oh yeah, that's speeding. Speeding contest thing. I don't really care about that. We serve simple meals here. You pay 10 gems in advance. Hot sandwich. Certainly. Great. It's odd that you would eat at the counter. <laughs> Home cafe a lot. Fresh croissants. Mm. Hey, trendy. I'm it. Hey, hey, the booze is delicious. The lady's pretty. There's a good place here. Watch it, you'll cost, it'll cost you more if you touch me. Nee. Yeah. Hey, when things get this fancy, it's, dis it's disconcerting. girl and a penguin. Why a little girl and a penguin? I I don't know what you're saying in response to, buddy. <laughs> My small island in the north I hear there's a super rich guy. Yes we are we, we already know about that though. We know about that guy already. He is super rich. I think that might be it for Lore, I think. Lore, Lore. And I think Near Lake should have. We should Near Lake should be back now. And I think Litz Litz should be evolved now too, I think. Oh yeah, okay, it's a little bigger now. Okay. Need fever medicine. Sure. I don't fever can have some. Here we go. I was going to fever give him this a drink. 
I got some more fever medicine. Didn't I already, uh, get this stuff before? After Milo's friend brought a fever cure from the new continent. He's distributing it for free at the reception desk. Oh, isn't he so kind? Dr. Milo is a fantastic doctor. Treats the poor, like us, for free. I heard the doctor here was good. But it came out all the way from freedom. It's free, too. Dr. Milo's friend was found. The doctor seems very happy. Wow, wow, that hurts. It hurts. It's good. My daughter became better, and now she fell out of a tree. Because she's dumb. I'm Doctor. I heard about Dr. Emilio and came to help. Compared to Dr. Emilio, I am so inexperienced. Yeah, Dr. Emilio's just kind of sitting, sitting in his office, not, not really doing anything. Thomas has become much better. He just went out. I told him to slow down a bit more, but he likes to lit likes to keep moving. When I spoke of Neo Tokyo, Columbus became agitated and nervous. I hope he doesn't get involved in anything bad again. Columbus goes to Japan. What a twist! Did you see the church windows? It's called stained glass. Oh, okay. Stained glass, okay. Let's take a look at it. Its specialties are tin sardines and stained glass. Everything here I'm proud of. Eat plenty. Okay. Ark is going to eat everything. Mm -hmm. Ugh. No more sardines, please. I can't eat any more. You went to a new continent. What is it like? I want to go. I spoke with a man named Columbus. He told me about a small village in North Northwest Forest. Okay. A good breeze is blowing. It's perfect for sailing, I hear. Oh, you know the Quattros. They're nomads who live in camps. They dance, sing, and trade with the locals to earn money, I hear. In the future, more affluent lifestyles will be desired. Okay. I don't believe this. Ever since I gave some tin sardine, blah 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 blah. Okay. Tin sardines I made looks very famous. I think we were only a small, isolated fishing village. Tin sardines are packed in cartons and exported. Capitalism. This quick booster of coffee is 10 gems. It has a somewhat bitter adult flavor. Here, I'll take it. Tasty.
My sister got better. I have to give the, my thanks to the Lord. God is compassionate. He always looks upon the weak. We had lovely stained glass windows put in. This too is a blessing from God. Amen. Or from the dude who made the stained glass, you know. You can thank him too. To make better towns, we must educate children as future workers. We established this school under that ideal. Business school. I'm studying history now. There are many important people who make, make different cultures. This is boring. Why do we have to do this? People in primitive days never had to go to school. Well, they didn't have air conditioning. And heating and air and toilets and... Prepared food and other things like that too, so... You know. Our teacher stories are easy to understand. They're neat too. Swinging a weapon around now is so old. From now on, it's the people with brains who will run the world. I suppose so. Shh! Don't tell the teacher I'm skipping out. You're gonna hide in the closet. Okay. Ah, uh, what's this? Oh, another Maggie rock, which I don't really need, but whatever. Very good of you to come. This too is another example of my works. You mean all of this? This mess <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> sure, dude. Sure. I became an apprentice after seeing that stained glass. I want to become an artist who creates work that inspires people. Did you see the stained glass at the church? I made it. I made it using the crystal you gave me. It looks good, right? Uh, yeah, uh, yep, uh, I guess so, yeah. This going anywhere? Okay then. Where shall we go now? This we should probably try to go to. We need to go back to Near Lake, that's right. It's important we go back to Near Lake. There's also a little house up there. Let's see what uh that is called, though. Okay, near legs back. I got some other houses too. Oh, this is Will's house now. Oh, hi. Isn't air travel great? I got a favor to ask. If you know what town that wants air travel, get them these airfield plans. Even distant lands can be made accessible by air with airfields. Can you do this for me? Sure. Alright, I'll have to take the airfield plans, right? You will? Thanks, I'm counting on you.
Henry was expanded so I decided to live over here. I had the best view of planes taking off now. Okay. He's picked up his entire house and moved it over here. I still got the uh, camera equipped. I do, okay. There's a house over here too. <clears throat> And what is this? I love working boat with sweat on my brows. However, many times I'm reborn. I hope I'm always a hard worker. Is this a granary, basically? You know, like I've become a major city. But I'm more suited to a life with the sun and soil. The more near like grows, the less people fear the lake god. Is this a good thing? When the town got bigger, my farm was made smaller. It's sad, people can't live without fresh produce. Thought such a fine town would rise in the ashes. I hate and get tears in my eyes seeing this fantastic town. I came to see a dinosaur called Gossy. I hope I see it. How do you know it's a dinosaur? Hmm. Mermaids? Dinosaur! Wahaha! <laughs> what lunacy are you telling me? In this modern day and age, that story would have anyone howling. Dinosaurs. That's something? No. Arr. Who are you? Who told you that you can come in here? Well, your door's open. Just walk right in. Don't yell at me. This place. We send Near Lake's produce to various markets. Because of the fire, Near Lake became widely known. People from all over come to buy our fresh produce. After a fire, I thought Near Lake was finished. But now I know that people can do anything if there is hope. Illinois Hotel, hey. We have a state, Illinois. Cheers to Near Lake, the undying city. Bourbon is good, but that grape grape wine from Lori is popular now. Yep. Uh, do they sell anything new? Here with the light pike. Proto armor. Ooh, oh pro armor. It's like seventeen. I need like. I need a lot of money for that. Wow. But yeah, I'm gonna have to grind for some money here. So I need 5,000 for the bird. Some I need some amount of money for that light pike, and I need money for that pro armor. Wow. I gotta grind for a lot of money here. After rebuilding the town, the people have much more vitality. This town has progressed sufficiently, according to the laws of capitalism. 
And we'll keep her on. Okay, we'll go from now on as we on my own. Okay. Go ahead and save, because I... I don't think I saved in a little while. Let's see, is here... Okay. Let's see what else there is here. The shacks and ponds that were here were relocated. Yes, we uh, saw that. Make the master chef open up his own place. It's... what? What is it again? It's Nick Burger. Aha! Uh -huh. MCD. Okay. And Nick Burger. You remember me? I, Nick the Master Chef. I opened my restaurant with that beef menu. It's super popular. You come in and eat too. I'll eat, eat all of the Nick Burgers. <laughs> He created McDonald's. It's, it's the it's the hamburger man, the well not the hamburger the um the uh, burger mascot dude that used to be for uh, McDonald's. In case you people don't remember, there used to be a a burger head mascot dude for, for McDonald's too. He was one of the mascots. And I think he got dropped from McDonald's mascots like a long time ago. I mean, you you had to have been living in the '90s to actually remember to uh remember this. But yeah, there was a burger head dude and he looked kind of like this here. Nick sure became big. He used to be a farmer, but he's sold off his land. Kill a hick. But he's loaded with cash, so I'm going to escort him a while. Oh, oh okay. Hehehe, <laughs> eat plenty. Oh yeah, these are great. This is my egg McBurger. Oh, my stomach. <laughs> They're not that good. Hello, may I take your order? Everything is tin gems except the smile. Here's our menu. Oh, give me a burger. Like some fries? Yes. Hey, right, cool. Yes, I'll take that. The order will take. <laughs> the order will take a while, so please have a seat. Gimme. Give Gimme give the McBurger. Sorry to keep you waiting. Enjoy your meal. Eat everything. Good. That was good. Oh, it's a bet, so you have to ask... So... I have to ask you for a smile. Yeah. Thank you very much. We rebuilt the town to ensure a fire of that ne that size never reoccurs. I found out the fire department and organized civic groups. I can be out fighting fires immediately. Immediately. Nilek will become the most safe and hospitable city in the world. It will become the ultimate town. I received help from around the world to rebuild Nilek. Nilek today can be considered built by people's kind-heartedness. I don't think I have enough photos for this yet. Oh, you have photos in many places. May I see them? Sure, talk about Lore. Thank you, Lore, is it? You will share information with people. Talk about wits. Okay. And freedom. We need to get some more information on cities, okay. Life has become much easier. Maybe I'll go on a vacation.
Another Nagi Rock, yay. Buildings that punch into the sky are going to blowing up. It's majestic. I lived near Lake in the past. I worked the fields, sweaty but among the living things. But now I feel no breath of life from these cold buildings. I'm not sleeping, so keep it quiet. I'm gonna make as much noise as I want. Snuffle. Chuckle. Oh, you dear. Uh, I can't really wake up. I tried. Which arc likes to run into everything while they're running, running around. And I think that's it for uh, Near Lake. Okay, what should we do now? I'm going to go to Australia. Forced. I think that would be a good location to go to. You must expand capitalism across the world. But it means Australia needs an airfield. Actually, um. Yoto could probably use an expansion too as well. There's actually two. There, I just noticed there are like two docks here. I don't know why that is. Oh, well, I probably need a photo of. Uh, I need a photo of this town anyway. Okay. Here and get a photo. Let's get a photo of uh, young, young Cow. And I guess Neotopia. I don't know if I need to, but we'll do that anyway. I seem to recall there was a government office building that needs uh, people in it. I don't know where it is. Sea House? Yeah. Here it is. What? What's that you have there? What? What? You can make places for flying machines to land with that. We were just discussing ways for attracting more people here. And we have those plans. Yes. You're the guy who gave me them once to see more airfields built. Mark gave the airfield plans away. That was great. With this, more people will be able to come here. I'll get the young folk together to make this airfield. Excellent. See, is there anything else I gotta do here? And I think that's all I can really do here. Let's go get on the airfield plans and uh, they 
haven't built the airport yet. I think we just need to still get more uh, pictures of towns. Let's go to Yungkou. Yungkou. I wonder if I need to get a picture of Laser too. Let's take a look at what happened to Tokyo here. Oh, I took a picture here just for a tourist. Cool. It's all yellow. So if everybody here is gone, does that mean the game devs are gone too? So all the all, all the game devs are gone too. <laughs> they killed themselves. They wiped themselves out from the game. What is that sound? Sounds like you're coming from that desk in the corner. Looks like there's a transceiver in the drawer. Targeting the transceiver. Okay. I don't know what that's for. For something. A girl's voice can be faintly heard. Help. Someone help. There's someone alive. There's a survivor here. Come help. Daddy. Mommy. Can you hear me? Where are you? Come help. That girl doesn't sound like she knows how to operate the unit. She's probably got the talk button pressed the whole time. Hey, release the button. Quiet. Do you hear that sound behind her voice? Help. Isn't anybody there? Hear it? The sound of flowing water. There's no river in this town. So that means... The sewers most likely. There has to be a way underground. I wonder if this is continuing the main quest. I just want to see here. But yeah, this is part of the main quest too. So we might not continue with this too much more until I finish with the side quest stuff. Oh, let me see what else we can do here. So we are almost done with the uh, side quest stuff here. Just gotta finish up the tourist stuff. Really, that's all we gotta do. Let's get out of here and 
Let me check and see if uh, Sun Coast has built itself up yet. I might have to wait a little bit. Yeah, I may have to go back to the other towns. Oh, there's supposed to be something else here I need to do. Oh, wait, there's the airfield. Sweet. Yeah, it's supposed to be somebody I give the fever medicine to in this town. Let me take a look. I think I have to wait till a town has actually built up some. I don't see anything. Or a tourist office. Let's see, yeah, okay. I would like to get an airfield near uh, Flore, though. So I think we have to go to each of the tourist places and tourist booth places and tell them about each town. Which kind of sucks because it would be nice to just do it at one. I guess I gotta go to all of them. Oh, here it is. Out of the way. What are you doing, lady? Move. I keep walking in front of the door. Apparently, they're not interested in Young Cow or Neo Tokyo.
Now, I don't remember if there was a tourist office here. And it doesn't seem like it. I don't know if that really actually did anything. But the, um, Sanko should develop into a bigger city. So maybe now they developed a bit more? I don't know. I keep forgetting I can go to a port over here. There we go. I'm surprised there's nothing about uh, expanding Leoto. I haven't even checked to see it, make sure my stream is still up. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it still is. Oh yeah, I'm still up. I haven't, I haven't checked it in a while because I'm looking at the guide so much. Okay, yeah, it's built up now. I see it. Gunco is now a bigger city now. Sun feels great. Heaven! Do dog do be do now. I drink do most gogan juice. And I get the breathing dose. This here has become more fancy, but my job hasn't changed. Now, coconut juice. Yes. Take it. What would make a good souvenir? Oh yeah, a shop had cool metals. I came here on vacation because of my lady friend. <laughs> I came along because he said we were going to a resort. I'll make him treat me, and I'll ditch him for someone better. How dare you! <laughs> How dare you! <laughs> I hear the sun rays are strong here. I need sunglasses. Hello, Mama. I didn't get sick on the plane. The weather's nice. Telephones. 
went on my honeymoon, but my darling is down, down with a fever. Oh, fever medicine, I have that. Oh, it's hot. I feel awful. I can't give him any fever medicine. I give it to you? Oh, what's that? Medicine you have. It's for fevers. I have that. Sure, you can have it. Give it to your husband right away. Thank you. I have to give you something in return. I know. I'll give you this lovely medal. We found it at the beach. At the water, a uh, water pen. Okay. I think I already had one of those, but okay. Koalas are super cute. That says gift shop, not magic shop. I don't want magic. I want gifts. You lie. Oh, he has an alpha rod, which is even better. That's 7,500. We can get some really good gear, I just need a lot of money. Okay. That's gonna be a lot of grinding. So 7500, 7500, that's like 15,000 plus the 5,000. For the bird, that's 20,000 gold. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Step right up. Sun Coast Zoo, right this way. Exotic animals galore. Okay, so we got a zoo. We'll look at that in a second here. The kangaroo rats at the zoo are so adorable. I can't believe I ate 35 plates of seafood. I'm satisfied. I'm in kinds. The town has progressed sufficiently. But for now, it's beyond nobody knows. My husband is happy about the development here, but I don't know. Airplanes come all the time, and they are noisy. So many people come, it's not just festive. It's just noisy. I can't hear the sea from my room anymore. It's sort of sad. My town sure has become famous with visitors from all over. We sure owe you a lot. If you like, take that beautiful stone there. Here, I guess I'll take it. It ain't worth that much to me, but sure. To the west of Suncoast is a huge stone mountain named Ayers Rock. It was so peaceful, and you got so many disturbed people. Yeah, Ayers Rock is one of the places we need to go to for this um, Starstone quest. So I don't know if we're going to be able to do all that tonight. I was hoping I would get through the side quest stuff faster than this, but I'm kind of taking up most of my time. Alright, let's take a look at the zoo here. Wow, they're so little, but they move. What is so little? Oh, the monkeys. Monkey! The animals are crying, they want to go home. The poor animals. Wow, 
Twilights don't move much. Boring. They're just kind of... There we are. Yeah, they don't really do much. That's, uh, what Twilights do. And I think that's it for this. Not stuck with any extra stuff. I have this transceiver though. That's for the quest in New Tokyo. And I still don't know what to do with the magic anchor. I have, I have no idea what that is for. Now the flowers, I think, were supposed to be for the penguins on Greenland. Which is something I keep forgetting to do. Let's see if we can do that. Um, I don't remember. You have to get there by bird. I know that. I don't remember what this place is. Let's see if I can do the Greenland thing, and then that might be it. Okay, I just wasted my time there. Hey, some treasure. Light potion, cool. And a little bit of money. I'll take it. Okay, so the bird that takes me to Greenland is in South America. I need to go back there. Have I looked at this house before? Oh, this is just a beef farm, that's right. Okay, so let's go find the uh, thing here. Is it this it? This might be it. Yes. Land me already. And the vice. 
就做这样。开始。Money, okay. Well, I can use money. I need a lot of, need a lot more money than this. I guess I'm gonna have to do some grinding between the streams here. Inguinia. It's too bad we can't talk to animals anymore. Yep. <laughs> <What's that? laughs> like I said, Ark eats everything. I need to get the flower to one of the penguins here. I don't know which one. Park lost a pretty flower. Return the same star stone from the penguin. Okay. Very advanced uh, penguin civilization here. They have sleds. They have. They do fishing and they have clothing and pots and they have wood. I don't. I, I don't know where they're getting wood from though. And textiles. I don't know where they're getting the uh, fabric from. It's all very mysterious. Okay, so that's like one star stone we got. That is a uh, Greenland. I guess we can uh, head on back. Well, let me take a look. Provided the star stone stuff doesn't take too long to do, maybe I'll just go ahead and take care of all that. Uh, oh wait, uh, I missed something. Wait, no, that's that star stone. I'm looking at here. Greenland. Okay, yeah, I already got stuff in Greenland. Okay, so that, okay, that's everything in uh, there. All right. So, there is a magic world back that there's a two. There's one in Australia. There's one in Sahara. I think I might be able to do those like real quick here because I don't. It doesn't look like they would take too long to do. Let's head back to Australia here real quick. As quick as the uh, winds will take me. Right, so let's go to Ayers, Ayers Rock.
I am a scientist. This place is the least populated. I mean, this place is the least polluted when Earth is enda endangered like now. I intend to witness the world's end here. Would you listen to me? Sure. A certain race revered this grand view and vast nature as God. But today, modern societies make a racket about preserving nature. When did humans become so big to think they can protect gods? Perhaps the beginning of the end started there. I fought those things. I fought all the while. I fought all the I fought all the while I watched this beautiful world. I gradually became aware of a voice calling my name from somewhere. An older boy will appear bearing a rod. The voice said to give the boy my star stone. The voice seemed to emanate from the very earth. Take this stone. I have always had it with me since I was a child. Star stone number two. I don't understand how people will think about today, but not tomorrow. Okay. Okay, dude. Yeah, definitely some areas of this game, the, uh... The translation... is not really... Translation and writing is not really... set up very well and in the small text boxes. So you get kind of weird weird text from now and then here. Oh come on, get out of there. Yeah. We need to go to the Sahara now. Let's go get this uh, third star stone then we'll haul it a night here. The last two have a little bit of a quest involved in them so we'll save that for the next stream, which hopefully will be the last stream. But we'll see. I thought it shouldn't take long to uh, get you. Okay, this is not where I need to be. Uh, let's see here. Go into the desert here. So it should be around. Um, that was a bone. This person must have collapsed. I hope I don't end the end that way. Ark, look at the skeleton's neck. It has something that looks like a necklace. No, no, the stone on the necklace. Don't you recognize it? Oh, hey. Isn't this the stone Lean found at the canyon? He said he was going to treasure it forever. But why is it here? A human probably snuck into the lion's den. They'll go anywhere if they smell money. Star stone number three. So apparently he stole it from the the lion the the, the lion king, <laughs> apparently. Alright. Okay, so that's that. Let's go save and that'll be it, because it's a three hour stream here. Get out of my way, woman. Okay, so we're gonna stop here. I'm gonna have to do some uh, serious money grinding so I can buy all that new equipment here. Probably it's like in game level gear here, so. Because we are just about at the end, end of the game here. 
That's all we got left is to finish up this uh, Starstone quest. And then the... I guess what is considered to be the last dungeon of the game. And some other stuff here. Well, we'll see. I'm gonna see if we can finish up in the next stream. See how long it takes. Because now that all of this, all of this uh, side quest stuff is done, I don't shouldn't have to um, spend too much time on it. I'll just do the grinding off stream here, and maybe I can finish next time. Maybe it'll be nice to finish on part ten. So anyway, that'll be it for tonight. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.